So yeah, I, I was brought up with my mum uh, down in the countryside, a couple of hours south of London. Um, and it was a very creative household. You know, she was an interior designer, she was a photographer. So for me, being around that environment really rubbed off on me. I used to go to school every day and I used to stay after class and I used to just sit there just drawing. I used to just draw lines and basically try and get the lines as close and close as possible. Having, you know, specialised in fine arts, having moved back to London, I knew I wanted to be creative, I knew I wanted to do my own thing. Um, but I wanted to be in an environment where I was bouncing off other people. When I think of fashion, the one thing that always comes to mind is denim. And ever since I was a kid, I was just dressed in double denim. Our house was head to toe in denim. And originally denim was called Serge de Nîmes. And Serge is, is the way that the cotton is woven, and it was coined in Nîmes in France. So originally it was Serge de Nîmes, and then became de Nîmes, and then denim. So for me, I was like, wow, this is the perfect name for the brand. Collections, they usually, you know, we, we come up with an idea, um, a subject, and we start mood boarding. That's the first thing that starts happening. You start pulling images, you start pulling ideas, and you put together this whole mood board. And usually we print it off, I like to visualize it, and we stick it all up on the wall. And from there we get our focus, and then we just start cutting it down. I'm very creative, but when it comes to business, you know, I'm still learning. I learn every day, right? I think we all do, and I think that's the most important thing, especially when you're setting up your own business and you're doing your own thing. It is a massive leap of faith. By stepping out and by, you know, removing yourself from your comfort zone, that is when you can really flourish.